What's up ladies? So here we go. This is a Vivica Fox pre-cut lace front and I have not done a Vivica Fox wig in so long. So this one is available at divatrust.com. Now as you see there is no lace. There are some combs in the front and in the back and the adjustable strap. The color that I have is the FS1B30 and like I said there are there is no lace in this at all. They call it a pre-cut lace um, I guess because there's probably like one eighth of a portion of lace that you have to cut off so I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my hair with some lot of body as well as that is I'm going to be using one of my favorites which is the strand maximizer hair building fibers I use this for my thin edges you can use this for thin hair balding spots whatever as you see right here my hair is filling in and it's just dry little hairs they look like little tiny hairs that like just say you would shave off they look like little tiny short hairs and they just mimic your own hair growth so it makes your edges hair wherever look like you've got some hair or make it look fuller so that is what I'm going to do with this lace front I'm going to basically treat this wig as a half wig because there is no parting at all like there's no lace at all on this unit so I'm not really sure why they called it a pre-cut lace front but overall the wig is so easy to style and I'm going to use some hair pins not bobby pins some hair pins just to push my hair back a little bit and keep it in place and spray it down with some of my favorite hairspray which is Aussie Instant Freeze and I'm also going to go and brush that into my hair and just style this baby of course I'm going to also be using a couple more hairpins I like using hairpins because if you want to keep your hair in place they are a better alternative than bobby pins now just to give my hair a little bit more volume and you see it's kind of like patchy in the front so I'm just going to go back in with my strand maximizer I do use it sparingly so I'll style it a little bit see where I needed some more brush it in pull out a little bit of hair brush it in go back so that's how I do my strand maximizer because it'll look natural when you do the strand maximizer in the frontal area you want to tap lightly because of course nobody's hairline is super thick up in the front so you just want to use that with little light pumps and gradually build it up I probably could have used a little bit more but for this I just want to have very lightly as I stated you do need to go lightly around the edges because your hairline is not so thick so let's get into this wig y'all okay you guys so this one right here by Vivica Fox first of all I will tell you this the hair texture and the style of the hair meaning like the type of hair the coils the curls reminds me so much of my Becky wig that I did by Vivica Fox who's a gen of blue black and it was a lace front it was a middle part but I put it to the side because I really liked it to the side but this one here and I think this is how you pronounce it Monse M-O-N-S-E Monse I'm not really sure but yes she is in the color FS1B30 and this is a pre-cut lace front so let's just get into this one right here now first you can get her at divatress.com they got like loads of Vivica Fox wigs so for those of you who are like a huge lover of the Vivica Fox line then check out divatrust.com I'll post a direct link to this one right here now the downfall of this one is there's nowhere for you to part meaning the lace is not there there is a tiny 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 bit of lace and it was so short to cut it off I was so scared that I was going to cut the hairline like it was probably like one third one eighth of a piece of lace to cut off they didn't even need to bother with the lace at the edge like seriously um, there is nowhere to part this unit because there as you've seen I showed you there's no lace parting so me honestly I just treated this as a half wig because of uh, the way it was created now a half wig is a lot bulkier in the front area so that's what gave it a really more natural blend it was a lot easier to blend but for those of you who like a part you're not going to be able to do one with this but if you like doing that sexy flip over method then by all means I would highly suggest doing that with it or pulling it up in a ponytail or updo for the most part, for the hair texture, it is so realistic, so pretty. It's not silky texture. It's really, really a nice, like a, I would say this is more or less, this be like a 3A hair type to me. Um, but it really does flow pretty. So even though it doesn't have any lace, you're not going to be able to part. You still can do like a whole bunch of different things with it. Now, the color blend is gorgeous. Synthetic wigs, um, back in the day, 
I would get a synthetic wig and it had like frost color in it or just be a different color opposed to like the natural color. They never really looked that great but nowadays there are so many different techniques, so many different wig styles. Like wigs have came up so much since like, you know, when we were little kids or when I was a little kid, you know what I mean? So yes, I'm 1974 so you figure out the math how old I am. Now the downfall like I said is there's no lace but my suggestion get you some good hairspray pump up your hair in the front and rock this baby as a nice flip over method. It's summertime this will go great with just about any type of outfit you have on but she just looks really natural and of course you may want to finger comb her just a little bit because she is full right out of the package so I wouldn't suggest going overboard with finger combing her but if you want to get some of that package crimp looked out then I would just you know, kind of like gently run my fingers through her because you don't want her to look like she just came out of a package. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But she is very, very full. And I do like her. I do. She reminds me of Becky. Um, and Becky was a gorgeous unit. Blue, black, just like this. Same length, same hair texture, just same volume. Becky was bomb. So, and it was also, I think it was also a pre-cut lace front. But there was parting in it. You know, it had like a part already. Either way, I like Vivica Fox. She has came out with some really nice units. And she has really stepped up her game. The units used to be a little bit too small for my head. As well as they kind of weren't like the best kind of trendy looking style. And maybe it depends on the model. But this one right here, I do like. And I think it's pronounced Monse. Don't quote me on that. Don't get me the line. But you can pick this one up at divatrust.com. I will post all their information below for you girls. And yeah, let me know what you think of this one. She's cute. She is really, really cute. There's just no party. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I would just say I would have to give her like a 7 and an 8. 7 and... I'll give her an 8 just because there's no party. But the construction of the wig cap is made amazing so yes on that note stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe all the information will be in the box below for divatrust.com as well as many of the other units and i will see you girls and guys on my next video